Have you never gotten this deck? Nope. Interesting. See, we're doing many new things in this LP. Even though we're not doing all the things that you wanted. We're doing many new things. Look, please, look up. His voice is so familiar. Something's different. Who is this? It's me. Huh? Tia, is that you, Tia? What the? No, I'm not Tia. Please, calm down. I'm Tia's twin sister, Orla. Tia's twin sister? Huh. Hold on a sec. What exactly is going on? Sorry, we don't have much time to explain right now. Please, let me see Tia. Sneezes. Come out already. I thought I'd scare it out of him. Was it scared out of him? Booga booga booga. I understand. I will permit you to visit, but realize one thing. It will be a painful reunion. She's in the hospital for a reason, no. Yeah, that is true. As you can ascertain, dude, our voices could not reach her, no matter how hard we try. We cannot even have a firm diagnosis of what caused her to become unconscious and collapse. Time is merciless passed by, but she continues to slumber. Tim, can you hear my voice? The big sister is here by your side. start over from the very beginning. So please, dear, don't go. Look, no, look at Surge. Don't go. He's like, look at poor Surge. He's like, I he can't, can't be watch. He can't watch. I know what's gonna happen. My spirit will always be with you, sis. Such a same thing truly exists. Truly bodacious. Haven't we discussed we this that several word? times with him already? The, that with the other duck. Yeah, but I think we brought it up once to him. This one. A miracle brought together by a bond spanning two worlds. It is truly unbelievable for such a thing to really occur. Hola. As Tia said in the final words. She will always be with you. Even though you and her world are different, you two are truly sisters. That will never change. This was tears. Take it with you. 
Play gym. I heard Tia talk about this gym before. I can only give it to you. Tia's spirit will always be with you, along with this blue gem. Now, Ola, open your hands. The split gem has become one and regained its true sparkle. Ola receives the bl blue brooch. Tia's spirit. Oh, Tia, why did you have to? Man, that's sad. Tia, just when I finally found you. Sis. Tia? Sound like Ola. Ola! Tia! The blue gem binds us as sisters and also contains the prayers of mother and father. The split gem has crossed the world to become one, and now it has been passed into your hands. Mother and father's prayers are within this gem, and my spirit will be with you, sis. Please don't forget. And they're strong for the both of us. Ola has learned sisterhoods. Sisterhoods of the traveling pants. Or gems in this case. Did you really? Yes. Never seen or read the book. There was a movie about it. Yeah, there was a book first. <laughs> An inherited technique <laughs> performed by two sisters. Stardust cake, kids only. Nice. Bum, 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 bum. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me. Orla's family treasure. Was an accessory we could find anywhere else. The brooch. Have it, she can keep it. She can keep it. She can keep it. Sorry, Doc. That's one hangover you're not gonna get out of. <laughs> All the medical books in the world can help him. Ha! Get it? Yeah. Because, like, optional care. And just how plain confused he is. Ah, the human body. What kind of doctor am I? Doesn't even know what the human body is. I studied for medical school, not parallel paradoxes. You know what? Why don't we just show off some crap while we're at it? Yeah, why not? Go for it. Go for it! Something like something. Oh, damn it. Gloops. They're not gonna live. Oh, maybe they will. No, no, no. I ran into a bomb. Hello. Kablooey! Okay, these gloops are actually holding up. Just long enough. Otherworld partial. Behold, Partial Unleashed. Partial Unleashed? <laughs> like, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. Is that like a sequel? Is that, is that like the X-rated version of Partial? Partial Unleashed. Well, you just missed it, so... But you can always look over when you're editing. Okay. Oh, nope, nope, Orla too strong. Orla too strong. Too strong, kill the group. 
Who saw that? I did. Loops are just weak. They're the weak link. You know, the better time can also help you gauge how far you are going. We're just missing one light pillar. Yeah. That will be the Terra Tower. Terra Tower. Alright, Orla. Place. Getting close to the end. The side quest came up. We've seen the multi punch when she used it on us. Let's go for the others. Punch drunk. Two hundred damage. It's the same song used in Legend of Zelda. I don't know. It certainly sounds similar. Now for sisterhoods. Of the traveling bison. Oh, that's cool. That was awesome. What, like a hot dog? Hot dogs are awesome. What about a hot cat? It was unnecessary. They needed one. Let's see. All that's really left is Corchus. Corcha. I mean, we're going to need Starkey's too, but we'll get his along the way. Yeah, fair enough. And we can uh, see what Kid's top shot is later on, as if anyways as well. Yeah, because she's going to be going to the final party. So we can wait for I know you have to go to Marbule to get Corchus. <laughs> oh look, it's Tiny Tiger. Opasa Beach. I'm trying to remember, where did Crunch come from? What game did Crunch originate from? Yeah, I believe it. That, or he was in the Game Boy Advance version. Um, okay. He was in the Game Boy Advance version. Not in the Game That wasn't the first GameCube one. Well, not for Insanity. Nope. So that's PS2, even. There was one called... Wrath of Cortex? Hmm. I believe. Sounds like so. What the hell, Korcha? What in the hell, Korcha? I swear, you had to be... ...at this place. You have to be a marvel. You don't 
carrying in my wife to be. <laughs> Attack, big catch. After Terra Tower surfaces, talk to the mermaid and the tank in turn. Right. And then the mermaid and Rector's house. Now I remember. There you go. Wrong piece of ocean. Try to get yourself out there, out of there. Nobody's ever gonna help you. Do you get that? Hey, don't try pulling any funny ideas, Quinchin. Oh yeah, so a funny thing about the mermaid in the tank. Yes. I believe I know who that mermaid is. Elvis. No. What? Irina's. Irina's. If you, world. Yeah, if you interact with the tank, Irina's will actually make a comment. Dot comments, but a comment nonetheless. At least I remember, if I'm right, if at least last I remember she does. Fair. It would make sense, but we don't see her anywhere else. She got out. Oh, now she's there. There we go. Yeah, I feel like that might be the mermaid, actually. I know Arena's has something to do with the mermaid. Maybe it's a long lost cousin. No, nope, no, wait. Mermaid that, uh, the Toma? Yeah, the one that Toma marries. Okay. Yeah, it looks just like it. Yeah. Sir Thank you. Oh, the chat are you? I don't remember doing anything to be thanked for. I am the mermaid who was caged at the show tent. I finally got a chance to escape. And ah, you're, you're that mermaid. Yeah, that's great. Your words came as an eye opener to me. I used to think that someday someone would come to my rescue. But if I do not try to become free myself, no one will ever lend me a hand. Sir Kocho, you were the one who showed me that. Maybe I said a little too much. But you understand, right? Don't you ever get caught by a guy like that again. Da, I understand. I do not know how I can ever thank you for what you have done, but I would like to give you a prayer to improve your fishing skills. Cause they're so... They are pretty cool. I have heard many rumors that you are a fishing maniac. Porch received big catch from the mermaid's prayer. Nice. From what I hear, big catch is the most amusing of the decks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I pray that I might see you again sometime. Take care, but 
Just remember, I'm not a maniac. Yeah, he is. Don't let him fool you. Or excuse me, fuel. Fool <laughs> ya. Big catch. A special lure to catch the one that got away. <laughs> the reason Corchas is so amusing is the fact that it'll pull out random stuff. Might, you might even be surprised at what kind of things come out. Narwhals! A narwhal. It's a six horn narwhal! He didn't have enough horns to survive. Survival of the horns. Those aren't words. Um. Um. Those aren't words to live. Maybe not that kind of horniness. <laughs> anyway. Just for a short moment. Let's go for a few big catches. Time for the big catch. I like the music. Let's see what it pulls up. <laughs> Smack a lagoonate with another lagoonate. Exactly. Let's go MK1, Starlight. Gundams! For Star Burst MK2. Gundam! Oh, bringing out the big guns. Rock on. Rock on. Just the way it takes off. Big catches, and then we'll go deal with the Star Kids, which is part of the plot. It is. It's plot related. Remember when we said we weren't doing anything related to the plot? Haha! <laughs> Side questing was like. Let's see 
gets pulled in this time. That was a cuscus. Cuscus. Oh joy, centaur beads. Oh joy. Those things with a whole bunch of HP. High defenses, they're resilient. And they have very giddy breaths. Except, uh, not anymore. Time for the last big catch of the day. What's he get? That was a cuscus. also fat princess. Yeah, we don't know. Just don't get in her way when she wants her cake. Fat princess is an old cake game. Nothing special. Nothing special. It's a good now, the time Medi waster. Capture the flag game. That's basically what it is. It's We're not capturing flags here, boy. We're capturing it's, cake. It's the same idea. It's the same idea. Yeah. No, it's cake, It's boy. the same principle. It's all about the cake. It's all about the cake. About the cake. No flags. No flags. <laughs> no, exactly. I guess. Nothing sour. Just all about the cake. About the cake. I'm good at 
this game. Now, Medieval. That would be a great game if they had done that HD remake that they were talking about back in the day. But Medieval is a game I plan on doing on my channel soon. It has already been uh, requested several times. Oh, there's a boat here. A boat, you say? The plot, you say? I've discovered a mysterious object below, but there's a nasty monster guarding it. No matter how many times I hack away at it, it doesn't seem to have any effect. I've tried some other ones, too. There are some that work and some that don't. This boss! Yeah. Did you say? I forgot all about him. Surge speedboat! Away! Yeah, save real quick and then call it. Call it good. I feel like this guy wasn't much trouble for me, but then again, I don't remember this guy too well anyways. But you have to go down here. Yep. Plot related. Indeed. Remember when we went under ocean, under the ocean and could still breathe? We're doing it again. And there's a very good explanation as to why. Plot related. Crabbies. So yeah, see that jellyfish looking thing? It's the plot. But first, rainbow shell. Oh, another rainbow shell. Not that it'll be useful. <laughs> we can't craft any more rainbow items. Unless we find some more brooches to disassemble. Mm. Or anything. Or charms. Because someone got rid of all the brooches back. I didn't remember! Okay. I can't. I didn't remember. I might have not known the group. Remember you? We're so old. Nope. Yeah. So even if I had. Bugger. Step I go. Whoa! I don't know, I feel like I do that craft sound effect, though, right? Huh? Heard worse. Alright, time for the jellyfish. Okay, what is this thing called? Is it a I feel like it's some sort of fancy. Sure. I mean, Square Enix wouldn't do that, would it? Royal, Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly. Physical attacks will not hurt it. Straight up does not get hurt. However, you still get uh, element charges. Don't run from the Royal Jelly. And we get an Earring of Light. A jelly approaches with minimal damage. That's good. This is cool. Royal jelly. Bring out the big guns. Is 
zero damage. Zero damage. Okay, so Starkey can do crap. Starkey can't do crap. Because white does nothing. Man. Let me guess, Kit's going to carry all the way. Zero damage? Yeah, this thing is immune to, da to physical damage. This thing's immune to physical damage. Let's see what the hot shot can do. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. 709 damage. It's beautiful. Critical hit of zero. Critical hit. Nice. Does zero damage. Nice. It's super effective. All right, we've done some infernos. Oh, he's going for number. Numbers. He cast the magic. Belt achieved. Now we go inside. Wow! It's a spaceship. Starkey's ship in this world is not broken. Starkey and happy. Where's the Starkey of this world? Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative. Starkey's ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey's ship is in pieces, and the parts are buried underground, but still working. Explanations! Yeah! It opened! Well, that leaves to question, where's the Starkey of this world? There! Yeah. Everything is in order! No clue. The navigation system is operational! Starkey's bed is nice and cozy, too. Can this take us to Terra Tower? Just maybe. This ship is only big enough to fly Starkey. Then what do we do? Customize Leave it. Leave it to me. Down the hatch. The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. Maybe we can use this. Starkey able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does it. What's this? Why it's a UFO. <laughs> it's an anti-gravity device. If you attach it to your bone, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. Nice. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. To Chronopolis. Hey, we're here. Let's see. Stark, you need this and that. Oh, yeah. This should do the trick. Oi, all you have to do is load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? We need 
to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it. Just hurry up and up, okay? Time to get to work. Fair enough. Phew. Start key, I'm done. See? All you did was load it on the boat. Negative. And Starkey bounces on his helmet. <laughs> but hell, at least the boat can fly now, right? So, this is it. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this, did you, Sitch? Nope. Can't say that I did. Why were we born? Why do we live? That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. The Red Moon is Lavos. Mm -hmm. It created life. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Lavos has no involvement with that moon. No, but someone from Chrono Trigger does. What, I tell you if the, moon has, the Red Moon has nothing to do with Chrono Trigger? That would surprise me. Let's do it! CGI cutscenes. CGI! We're flying! It's a mini airship! It's an airship! Uh. Look, Logan, we're at Terra Tower. For now. For now. I don't believe Sean's done with Cyclusting yet. Yep. place. Yeah, good long look, folks. Because we won't see it for another probably good hour or so. We're not staying. But that should unlock it in the bit of time, right? Yeah. Yep. Actually, we can just freely access it now from the world map, too. Yes. How did this even work? How did I not break all of those? So let's see. Voice stop, the uh, last character uh, element that we can get. Last tech? Last tech. So yeah, remember, Starkey said he was going to go back to his ship. Let's go back now. Let's go check out his ship. Damn it. Random battle. It's a jelly blob of some sort. Jelly blubber. There's a jelly blubber. Goodbye, Jelly Jiggler. Destroyed. <laughs> yeah. 
dynamite. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. Gotta nope, go find nope. that ship. Nope, nope, nope. I don't even know. Well, it's not like you were trying to move constantly into danger of the game. Is that something that you know? Have you played Banjo to do a game before? Yep. Good. Good game. Well, I was trying to figure out where to go after you the game. Uh, nuts and bolts here. I got lost in a few places, such as how to deal with the giant crab and the giant crab. And then I also couldn't figure out where to go after that place. Oh, so you not gotten far? No, I only got to the second area. I couldn't figure out where the third one was. Wow. Yeah, never. All you have to do is uh, roll into his eyes. Okay then. For once, I have a little bit more expertise in a game than Sean. Uh. And then again, I'm also assuming you don't own the game. Oh no, you got it in that rare collection, didn't you? Yeah. Have you played it much? Sure. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, Starkey, wonder if Starkey can find anything else. And I still remember seeing you play through it. Hmm. Only junk. Wow. So this is where it was. Starstruck. Hmm, I wonder if Razzly has any involvement. Maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, the thing about Banjo is you got to remember to use the... Uh, the little Gruntilda frames to unlock some of the worlds. And they're hidden within the, the worlds. Yeah. So. Find those and you'll find out how to get to the next areas. Plus you have to get the uh, the notes to unlock the doors. Yeah, the notes and the puzzles. Yep. So that sums that up. So derp. You just basically collect everything you possibly can pick up. Yeah, it's collect a thon. That's the point of the game. Until nothing else is left, and you move on to the next level of your game. Which is really good because the game's based around that. So, uh, do you have an opinion on nuts and bolts, Sean? I haven't played it before yet. No, it's terrifying. Don't. You just have a problem with car with car creations, don't you? Well, I don't like car games in general, but it's not a banjo kazooie game. We'll just leave it at that. I will agree it is different from the usual, but it's I think it'd be pretty fun. In more, this case, difference is bad. It's more of a spin-off game than anything else, to be honest. For me, Banjo and Kazooie Three will always be Gruntilda's revenge on the Game Boy Advance. That's a bonus. the drive that was in it. Starstruck. Let's see how it goes. Oh, he's doing the dance. We got something special. Why? 
He's going for a rocket ride! Starstruck. Rock on. on. That was very style inspiring. Haha. <laughs> Side quest for. Okay, that door won't open. I don't yeah. think it opens until New Game Plus, does it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because that's a quick way to get to the last boss. No, it isn't. No? That's where you meet, meet a very familiar trio. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's only one side questy thing left. Only one side questy thing left here. You hear, guys? That's enough. And don't don't stress yourself, Onion Sun. The plot it comes soon. It comes. You want to take a look at the items? The ice gun. Ice gun. A quick freeze, freeze gun. Ray. Luca made so babysitters could fight fires. Keep out of reach of children. it impossible to duplicate. Still got the two tiers. Oh, oh there, there's the ancient fruit. The ancient fruits. Yeah. The handle of Garai keeps safe. It'll become safety gear, props, or dragon. Oh, yeah. So, the dragon emblem. A traditional crest passed down the generations at the dragon shrine. The design looks familiar. Yeah. Wonder where we've seen that before. And then this Oh wait, I was going to save too. There is a save point inside, I believe, but just in case. Remember the last time Batman was in Some bolts. Well, the last time it was is was in the Sega All Star Racing. Yeah, that too. Yep, that was the last time they appeared in the racing game. Cameo appearance in the 360 version. Yep. So I remember one of my friends had it on the Wii and they weren't there. Yeah, it's on the Xbox version only. Because uh, Xbox got the has the rights to Microsoft. Beforehand, the only other game they appeared in would be racing was, Nintendo. um, well, no, not Nuts and Bolts, but, uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, Nintendo. Yep. What about this game that obviously exists and existed? What are you talking about? Godzilla's, like, on drugs over here. What, Banjo Pilot, the game that definitely existed? What the hell are you even or? talking about? Banjo Pilot. It was a Game Boy Advance game. Where it was Banjo Kazooie characters in planes. Released by Nintendo. We're game. talking about those games. You don't even know this game existed. Or you didn't know this game existed. You're sounding like you're trying to reiterate Diddy I Kong this Racing. Game actually existed? No, like you sound like it? you're trying to reiterate Diddy Kong Racing. No, it's a real game. He's over here with it, but I don't believe it. I actually just made this game instantaneously. Just in a couple seconds. Nope. And then again, this is coming from the guy who didn't know Grand Silver's Revenge was a Game Boy Advance game. So, well, I knew this one existed, it 
which completely confused me that there was two Banjo Kazooie games that involved racing. Looks like so they, they, they fucked up once and then thought to make the same mistake again. Looks like the dragon does not exist in this world. That's that shame. Shame. What's that thing on the ledge up there? Works, I guess. Fate. I don't think we've ever seen a monster like that before. It's not a monster, it's a dragon. That those who disturb the peace of the land be punished. Hope you guys know you're. It's coming down! So. This is that giant dinosaur. I don't know what to call it other than a mutated griffin. So there are two ways you can go about this guy. Could be this. I am the Cryosphinx, and thou hast trespassed on my domain. Why must thou turmoil to this land bring? Thou turmoil unto thee I give. Depending on how thou meet this child, thou may be allowed to leave alive here me. However, this be an island to which no man has visited for Aeon, and the Cryosphinx is grown quite bold. If thou possessest the courage to match thy wish to mine, thy sins may be forgiven when thou answer correct my question six. Now, riddle me this. I'm gonna riddles. Riddle me this, that man. Give me the riddle. Come on, I can take it. Here's the thing. This guy, there are two ways to go about it. You can straight up attack him, and he'll fight back. Or, you can actually sit back, defend, and wait, he'll give you riddles. If you answer these six riddles by hitting them with specific elements, colors, then you can get by. I can do this. Come on, defend. We got this. Ussist est magister optimus. It'll be an easy one to start off with. Auburn, nay the burn. Iron pyrite, nay the fool. All that glitters is nay, but silence be. Black. Answer my question. What is it I be? Silence is black. And he automatically gives you a uh, max element power. It's black. It's a black element. Black? Yeah. Because silence silence is done by a black I think. Doesn't matter what kind you hit him with, as long as it's the color. Falsus, thou art incorrect. What? Oh wait, a silence yellow. That's unfortunate. Auburn nay the bird. Iron pyrite nay the food. All that glitters is nay, but silence be. Golden. Yellow. I don't know. Silence is golden. Just reuse the same movie just used on us on him. Hey, heal them. Vazness. Thou art correct. Nice. Dimidum facti que bene que fitat. Well begun is half done. Now here my second riddle be. In my anger I see both the rage to charge it and the flag to stop it. Blushing, I walk the royal carpet. Answer my question. What is it I be? Red. I be. Pilfer. Varus, thou art correct. Now, 